De Amerikaanse ambassade vierde gisteren de 248ste onafhankelijkheidsdag van de Verenigde Staten van Amerika. Tijdens deze activiteit werden er toespraken gehouden door de ambassadeur van de Verenigde Staten van Amerika in Suriname, Robert Forche, en de president van de Republiek Suriname, Chandrika Persat Santoki. Volgens ambassadeur Robert Forche hebben Suriname en de Verenigde Staten van Amerika een goede relatieverhouding met elkaar. Now, throughout our histories, we have evolved um, our different paths with different challenges and have developed different strengths. But we really have shared so much. As we gather here today, we are celebrating the birth of the United States, but we are also celebrating the friendship, the shared history, and the shared values between the United States and Suriname. We are both democratic countries with a belief that we are all created equal and that every voice is equally valuable. And at no time is this more true than right now in an election year in the United States and next year an election year here in Suriname. Election years are happening throughout the world right now. About 70% of the world are going to elections this year alone. Over a billion voters. And that attests to the strength of democracy, the strength of the democratic process. And to say the least, as we observe all the developments that are happening in, in all around the world, in El Salvador, in Indonesia, the Netherlands, France, India, Senegal, Mexico, the UK, the United States, and many other countries, I think we can be inspired by the strength of democracy's appeal. Now, elections that we're facing will shape the future, and they will shape our future. And we must ensure that our elections are free and fair and that the process is transparent. In the United States, we hold presidential debates, which many of you may have seen. We had one last week. Um, but we also hold debates at the local level, the state levels, so that the people can see who it is they're voting for. We have campaigns to encourage young people to vote and to educate people about voter registration and the whole process that they're engaging in. We have election laws that require candidates to report the sources of all their campaign funds. All these measures are helpful to fight corruption and make it easier for voters to vote and to remind our politicians that they are accountable. They are accountable to the people. Indeed, the first three words of the US Constitution are, we the people, to remind everybody where the power really derives from. Now, for democracies to thrive, we must also promote healthy economies. And I believe, personally, that Suriname has a bright economic future ahead. It is attracting the attention of American businesses even today. American businessmen are looking here to invest, and we're doing our part as an embassy to make that possible. Last month, we brought our very first full trade delegation in years to Suriname. Uh, they attended the oil and gas summit, and we're already seeing new investments being prepared coming out of that. American companies that are here are also doing well. Companies like Newmont Mining are doing their best to be responsible partners and work to strengthen the communities in which they operate. In fact, we're aware that Newmont is being considered for a prestigious award for corporate excellence because of its great work here in Suriname. Daarna zei president Chandrika Persat Santoki van de Republiek Suriname het volgende. Ambassador Fauci, on the occasion of the 248th anniversary of the Independence Day of the United States of America, please permit me to extend heartfelt congratulations to you, to the staff of the U.S. Embassy, to President Joe Biden, and the government and people of the United States of America. Ladies and gentlemen, Independence Day celebrations are certainly important milestones to reflect on the route to and also the path traveled since that fateful day in 1776 through the adoption of the Declaration of Independence by the Continental Congress. The United States of America now stands as a beacon for freedom and democracy. That's why I'm standing here in front 
of the statute of liberty. Therefore, it is fitting to celebrate history, heritage, and the American people annually. Freedom and democracy are equally essential values for Suriname, which we share with the United States of America. This not only at that bilateral level, but also at the global level, specifically when expressing the need for strong democracies and democratic institutions, respect for the rule of law, good governance, and the protection of human rights. Indispensable is an independent judiciary and a fair administration of justice, also against the background that there is no room for impunity regardless of political influence. It is indeed crucial for safeguarding the democracy. It is worth noting that Suriname and the United States of America share these internationally recognized principles. Ladies and gentlemen, American voters will have their say in terms of democracy this November. And Sudanese voters will have their opportunity during the next general elections in May 2025. Given the track record for organizing and executing general elections, I expect that our two countries will continue to excel and ensure that all eligible voters can exercise the right to vote. And here in our country, Suriname, it will be for the first time that the new, newly approved election legislation will be exercised based on the national proportionality. Thank you, Ambassador, distinguished guests. The friendly and solid relationship between Suriname and the United States of America is also characterized by the different areas of cooperation at the economic and social levels. The excellent partnership at the level of the defense organizations in both countries are exemplary. Continued political consultations at all levels are also crucial, particularly in areas of mutual concern such as, but not limited to, fighting, trafficking in person, drug trafficking, transnational organized crime, and terrorism. I'm therefore pleased to note that due to our relentless effort, Suriname, as mentioned by the ambassador, has advanced to tier one on the traffic in persons listing for the first time. With our strong leadership and innovative ideas and action, it would not have been possible. It is more than appropriate to congratulate Inspector Leticia Pinas of the TIP unit of the Sudanese police force was, as mentioned, nominated among the 10 TIP heroes of 2024. Once again, congratulations. <laughs> I look forward to further collaboration with relevant U.S. agencies to rid the region of this scorch. Cooperation with the U.S. Military Southern Command should also be mentioned as a ta tangible result of an effective and demand-driven cooperation program. It would be remiss of me not to highlight the excellent cooperation between our defense organizations, including the visits of high-ranking high -ranking U.S. officials, particularly the visit of the Deputy Secretary of Defense Daniel Erickson to elaborate further regional security, security cooperation. We also look forward to strengthen partnership between entrepreneurs and investors in both countries. The recent U.S. trade mission to the recently concluded fourth edition of the Suriname Energy, Oil and Gas Summit demonstrates the efforts to bring U.S. businesses to Suriname 
Energy security is strategically important and expanding the portfolio of the U.S. businesses in Suriname, particularly in the mining and the related sectors, is more than ever necessary. The U.S. AID activities in Suriname have also increased and several missions have already been undertaken. We look forward to further expanding this work on the ground by implementing more social projects.